Uh, we have our last speaker for the night, not the least, but yes. Uh, one way. Okay, can I start? Uh, can everyone hear me from the back? Okay, perfect. So, okay, uh, good evening everyone, just one way. And <laughs> like, okay, I, I didn't know this was a coding session. <laughs> so, I actually work as a public relations practitioner. I have my own company. Uh, we work in a blockchain media, which is why I like wanted to come here and present. So, like, the last time uh, we have a, this uh, sharing session, my colleague over there, Wing, she actually presented. So, I told her that I also want to present. Yeah, that's why I'm here today. La. Okay, so, <laughs> so yeah, so I want to present like three reasons why all developers should develop uh, public relations speaking skills, which is perfect, you know, because just now King Ming, can we give him a round of applause again? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it really takes courage, I feel, for a developer to really go and push himself out of the comfort zone to go and talk and share in conferences like in spirit of like sharing and like thought leadership I think it takes courage so like okay uh, how many of you know that Michael is getting married tomorrow <laughs> can we give Michael a big round <laughs> okay so okay so I will share here right I will share my own like love story la. okay so how I got involved in like <laughs> I, I mean you might also think about like uh what, what kind of wife, what kind of uh, like your fiance, what kind of character is she? <laughs> no, I'm just curious, I'm just curious. <laughs> you want to share a bit? <laughs> is she also a developer? Like, what, what, what's the profile? <laughs> Exclusive, okay. Only PR people can do this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but so, so what, what industry is she working uh, in? Retail sales, uh, she's a manager in a retail, retail outlet somewhere. Okay, so in sales, in retail, like yeah. uh, involved in marketing. So like, I think the, the profile is pretty similar. <laughs> involved in PR and he's like a developer. <laughs> so I want to tell the story because what happens is that, uh, so, so like, let me share about our second date together. So because my, my background was from uh, NUS economics, so I did honors. So he thought I know MATLAB. Yeah, so, so during our date, right, we, we, go, we go shopping together. Then after that, he, he said some like C++ stuff and MATLAB stuff. Uh. Who wants to, okay, let's, let's make a guess. Who wants to make a guess what, he, what, he, what we talk about? Any, anyone want to guess? It's about C++ and MATLAB. So he was telling me some script. Uh. Some like, uh, I, I'm, I'm very black, uh, perplexed today because this script like got something wrong. Okay, then you guess what I think. Anyone want to make a guess what I think? <laughs> no la, no la, date ma, date, second date, second date, so, make a guess. No, <laughs> no, in fact, I, I was like, <laughs> I was nodding, I was nodding and like, I was being very understanding. Then inside my head, I was thinking, oh my god, this boy is so cute. <laughs> so this is what I thought, okay. So this is the context framing, like, what most people outside the coding scene, they probably don't care, they probably don't know, and probably if you're good looking, they think you're very cute. Yeah, so this is the context. So, so, so the, the thing is that if you want people, if you, this is very serious because I think coding is getting more and more important. Like if I have kids, when I have kids in the future, they'll probably have to learn coding in Finland, like land of coders. So it is very important to, uh, personally, I feel that as developers, right, it's very important to get a word out there, get a work out there as well to, to the public. Because for King Ming, what I love about his sharing just now is that how do you get yourself out there, put yourself in front of developers? So my talk is how do you put yourself out there in, in front of people who don't give a shit about your code? But they know the importance of your code. Your code is important. It's very important for tech. It's very important to change the world. So you need to learn how to talk to people like me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Nicole is my boyfriend. So uh, he has this like page, page. Um, it's like his online resume la. So he has all these. These are the set of languages, right? Then uh, the highlighted ones are things that he knows. So like I think I actually know like one or two. <laughs> it's like very bad. So the thing is that um, most people don't even know what I know, which is one or two. Maybe they know zero. So like <laughs> to think of ways to communicate with them, the public. Okay, so let's go back, take a step back. Like our first speaker, start with definition, right? The ontological aspects of discussion. So definition of public relations is a strategic communication process that builds mutually beneficial relationships between organizations and their publics. So uh, 
in summary is a strategy so like just now what Kimi mentioned why you want to put yourself out there you want to um, instead of let instead of let's say you want to apply for a job you apply to a lot of organizations right why not let your boss approach you instead of you approaching many many bosses so this is strategy it's just being smart so uh, we will see how it works out so the reason one is influence um, I guess like seated down here everyone developer everyone is very passionate about their code so if you want to get your project out there if you feel very very strongly about something especially where it can change the world can change it can influence business communities especially good like business community you work with business people uh, they, they only talk about money uh, then it's like wow that's it but it's, it's something very real uh. so if we want to get our word out there that says that hey with a better tech you can sort of make more money okay it's their language uh, but if you if you want to influence people you have to speak their language so one method of doing so is storytelling like okay you know i keep referring back to king ling talk right because i feel that it's a common language that i mean i love his sharing because he speaks the common language of a lot of developers so one of the points he mentioned just now was that share your personal project because it's personal it's unique to yourself so it's also like storytelling storytelling every human being right you can bring hack into their brains lah, and their actually minds and souls as well through storytelling um 50 years ago there was this guy called joseph campbell he wrote a book which is now regarded by a lot of copywriters as a bible copywriting bible it's called the hero with a thousand faces so what he says is that in effective storytelling there's always a hero's journey yeah so Rick this is sorry Rick and Morty. Rick, what, what was that <laughs> it's a, it's a cartoon. oh i don't know about that i'm sorry <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I, I, oh, okay. It, oh yeah, yeah i'm gonna check that but uh so so uh the hero's journey right it has a pattern so there are like 10 stages to the hero's journey you can skip some of the stages but generally just remember that your audience like to be hero your audience like to help you so if you can frame your story in that aspect then uh, people will remember your story people will want to help you and people will approach you and then second one is innovation effective pr builds strong inter-community relationships which leads to greater innovation so as developers right you don't only want to interact with fellow developers you also want to interact with like marketing people cap, uh, capital people um entrepreneurs you want to interact with people from all over like different disciplines different skill sets this is how you get your best ideas right because like it's like cross-pollination of ideas is what happens in startups they want like let's say uh, they want teams that are very of diverse background so that you will get a lot of innovation including designers also so basically if you have effective pr right through like talking or through um, being very aware of how you present yourself that would actually lead to greater innovation so it's something you want to consider uh, the third one is thought leadership okay referring back to your presentation again uh, just now he has like outlined like three steps right like first you have your uh, like you write you plan with the end in mind which is a talk then uh, you write blog posts and then the blog post can serve as the script to your public speaking so this is actually called thought leadership which is which actually in perhaps in developers language is also akin to the open source movement in the sense that open source movement is like maybe you all can share with me i'm also very curious like why would you want to co uh, contribute to the open source movement anyone want to share with me to solve a problem because by sharing your source code with other developers then other developers can work on it and then they can give other solutions to solve other problems so are you solving your problem or solving other people's problem? You are helping other developers who are having the problem and then they use, use that, that, that solution to solve other problems in whatever they are working on. Okay, is, so that, like, is that a general consensus for open source movement? Just to find out. I primarily work to solve my own problems first and then hopefully other people will have help with that. Okay, perfect. And then they can come up with other problems they have and then they fix the problem they didn't know I had okay so there are two perspectives here one is to solve your own problem and hopefully it helps others the other is solve other people's problem and helps others so this is also like to link it back to uh, open source right thought leadership is the same so when you write content right like what he does 
he's actually solving like the pain point of other people or of himself. So whenever you write a blog post or you want to write a content, make sure it helps someone else. Make sure you pay it forward. So let's say uh, I write something about uh, that solves someone else's pain, like how to. <laughs> I just realized that I just found out that you know maybe we have a different set of problems, but it's fine. Okay, so let's say um, how how do I get this code to be used by a lot of other people? So if you can write a blog post that actually solves this problem, it will actually help a lot of other people as well. And some developers maybe they uh, don't really have the monetization ability. So if you can write a blog post that solves this problem, then maybe you'll help other people as well. So the thing is that once you help other people, people will keep coming back to your blog. People will be like, hey, when is King Ming making the next talk? Things like that. So like, this, all these contribute to thought leadership. Like, once you think about a certain niche in your field, then um, the, the top of mind person will be like yourself, if you're a thought leader. If you are putting yourself out there, out of your comfort zone, to write a lot of yeah, <laughs> blog posts, and like to do a lot of videos, and things that really benefit people. Lah. And actually, very interestingly, um, like nowadays YouTube uh, from the SEO perspective YouTube if you do a lot of YouTube videos right it actually will help your ranking a lot because like uh, they have I mean YouTube and Google then people Google certain keywords and then like YouTube top search come out so top leadership is something that uh, developers can consider and my personal wish is that <laughs> Uh, okay, sometimes you want to write very niche technical topics, right? Yeah, go ahead and do it. But sometimes write things for the public uh, who don't know code at all, like myself. Because like, sometimes uh, having, uh, speaking from a personal perspective from the blockchain industry, right, I really like a lot of things I really don't know. Like, initially when I started, I didn't even know what was GitHub. It was so bad. Then I started to like go to technical uh, conferences, tech conferences, IT conferences, fintech conference. Then I, I went to ask them a lot of like stupid questions. And then like people were very patient with me. And I think the one trait about developers that I really appreciate is that they tend to be very patient and very kind. So they explain everything to me. So I'm, I'm also learning. And yeah, hopefully like maybe next year I can make a development talk. Yeah, coding. I'm going to learn coding. So like, <laughs> because <laughs> my boyfriend is like, I am very sick of me not knowing code. So like, he's teaching me also. Like, yeah. So so this is yeah. But meanwhile, like your experts, right? Go and make some talk about to the public. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, thank you. Any questions? <laughs> All right. So the others, thank you. So all the four speakers will still be around. So if we need to talk to them and ask them some questions, you can definitely do that after this. So let's get back to my slides. If I can get my slides up.